Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, email sending of smart form PDF. And as a part of that, we finished with first six steps. Now we will move on to our next step, how to add the attachment. If you remember, yes, we provided the subject we provided the body of the mail and now we need to go for the attachment part. We need to add the attachment. Yes, because ultimately that is our target. We need to send that attachment. Yes. So how we will do that? We all know we have this particular class cl underscore document underscore bcs which is used for all documentation process now we will add the attachment so if i will go for this particular class cl underscore document underscore bcs we will see which talk, which particular method we can use for adding the attachment. Now I will simply, simply check for the method in this class. So we have a method add underscore attachment and it is which method instance method. It means we will require a object. Yes, we require a object. And what is the object of the document class? This is the object of the document class, which we receive from this particular method, create underscore document. Now we will go for the method add underscore attachment. I will remove this commented lines. And now we will call the method add underscore attachment. I will go to pattern. I will go to ABAP object patterns. Now, firstly, I will give the instance. Instance means object. What is our object for the document class? Hello underscore document. Now I will give the class name. What is the class name? cl underscore document underscore bcs now i will simply simply call the method and what is the method name add underscore attachment it is at the first line itself i will go for okay you can see it is a instance method so we are getting hyphen and greater than Never, never forget to uncomment the try and catch blocks because if run, if some exception occurred, at least we will not get the runtime error. Now we will go for the various things. Firstly, we will go for attachment type. Attachment type. Just check. Just check, check our topic itself. We want to go for PDF attachment. What particular thing we want to attach? PDF. So what will be our attachment type? PDF. Now attachment subject. Suppose simple example. If I will go for attachment subject. If I will show you in the mail itself. Just see. What is the subject of this attachment? Rahul Mehta underscore something something. Same way, we need to give a subject to our attachment. This is real world. Whenever you are getting some attachment in your email. So every attachment has a subject. subject. So how we will give the subject? Suppose attachment subject, we will give suppose order number and what is the order number suppose i am saying we are sending the attachment of order we are sending the mail of order number one so what will be the attachment subject order number one suppose i am sending a mail of order number two 
then what will be the attachment subject order number two. So how I will do that? I will simply, simply go for concatenate. What is concatenate? Concatenate is used to combine the strings. But we want to concatenate order number and what is the order number? If it is one, two, three, four. So how I will write order number? I will use colon. Okay. With this, it's colon. And which variable has your order number? If we will see, we are getting, we are passing the order number through what parameter? So this particular variable has this particular parameter has the order number. So I am concatenating order number, column, colon. What is the order number? Suppose I am writing into. Suppose I am going for any variable. That variable I will pass to this attachment subject. So I will check the type of this attachment subject. What will be the type? If you see attachment subject, attachment title. It is of this type. If I will double click, it is of this type. If I will double click onto this data element, it has a domain of character 50. So I will simply, simply declare a variable by using this data element. This data element has a domain of character 50. So ultimately, whatever the title we are passing, it will be of what character 50. Suppose here I will write LV underscore subject. Now I will declare LV underscore subject. I will go here, data, LV underscore subject, type, data element. This data element has a domain of character 50. It means LV underscore subject is character 50. So now I will simply, simply write here into LV underscore subject. Just see how it will work. Suppose I'm giving order number one from the screen. So how this concatenate will work? Order number colon one. Order number colon one will go into what LV underscore subject. So what will be LV underscore subject? order number colon one and it will be our title for the attachment. Now best practices, we should never, never hard code in one language. We should use text symbol. And if you remember, we already have a text symbol for order number. Order now, okay. For order number, we do not have. That is order details. So I will create a text symbol for order number. Suppose I will take colon along with this itself. Done. So that there is no need to take separately colon. Now rather than this, I will simply, simply write text hyphen 005. So order number colon 1 it will be our PDF title. It will be our attachment title. So we gave a title to the attachment. It will be our PDF. Now, what, what are the contents? Contents. So we will simply, simply uncomment this. I underscore attachment content underscore HEX. And at the first point, first point, whenever we, whenever we received the binary file, 
and after that we converted the x string to binary format this is your content internal table this is here this is your attachment this is your contents yes because you want to send ultimately this now we will just go for a recall step at the first point when we converted when we converted that x string format to binary format at that time i told you that this lt underscore binary tab type you cannot be able to check this particular you will not be able to check by this particular function module because it is blank but still we declared at that point of time and i told you lt underscore binary tab is of this type s-o-l-i-x underscore tab and i told you at that point of time once we will proceed further you will automatically come to know how i come to know that lt binary tab is of this type just see now finally lt binary tab we passed in front of this particular parameter. If I will double click, if I will go for this parameter, just see I underscore attachment content X. It is of which type? Solix underscore tab. So in the future step, we come to know that yes, it is of Solix underscore tab. And it is clearly saying content binary binary. Is this our binary content? Yes, it is our binary content. Yes, binary content. Yes, our type is PDF. Yes, our attachment type is PDF. And we gave a subject to the PDF, sub subject to the attachment. I will simply, simply remove this code because these parameters we are not using as of now. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, yes, we, we did the next step. And what is the next step? Adding the attachment. Because ultimately we need to attach the PDF file. We need to attach the contents so your content so we simply firstly gave the attachment type what will be the type pdf and after that we gave the subject to the attachment so how we gave the subject we firstly declared one variable we firstly declared one variable and how we check the type of that variable by simply double clicking on the method i underscore attachment subject is of this particular type so we simply declare and we are concatenating order number colon what is the value of order number into this particular variable and we are passing this to this particular method and the last thing is because you need to attach the contents finally yes so finally, how we add, we attach the contents. Yes, your contents, your binary contents are into which internal table? This is in our LT binary tab internal table. So we simply, simply pass that internal table. And after that, we covered also that how at that point of time, I come to know that it is of Solix underscore tab. It was recognized from the future steps, but we did at that point of time. So that's it in this particular video. We will go for next steps in the upcoming video. Thank you.